So it's, what day is it today? Friday, 29th. It is Friday. Uh, and as you can hear, there's a female lady voice. Look who. Hi. And Mr. Alfie. Hello. So Miss K, Mr. Alfie. Um, they've come over for a meal. But rather than us cook, they've taken over the kitchen. <laughs> Absolutely. So what we are, what are you doing, Kay? Okay, so we are going to have beef wellington with fillet steak and a red wine sauce, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Mm -mm. Green beans, French beans that is, uh, chanteuil carrots, dauphinoise potatoes. <gasps> dauphinoise potatoes! And um, yeah, red wine mushroom sauce. Oh! It sounds positively divine. I can't wait. And the fact that I don't have to do anything is even better. <laughs> Another successful games afternoon. Define successful. <laughs> <laughs> From that, you're not doing very well today. No, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> it's fun. And that heating up a little bit. It's Sunday. I'm just approaching 11 a.m. on the 31st of December, the last day of the year, New Year's Eve. Um, because in the UK, New Year's Day falls on a Monday, um, it's a national holiday. Actually, New Year's Day falls on a Monday, yes, so, it, yeah, we're having a holiday. <laughs> um, and I normally go to Mum and Dad's on a Monday um, to see how they are and to grab some shopping if they need it. Uh, but because tomorrow is going to be a bank holiday, and I'm not sure whether or not their supermarket is going to be open, I'm doing it today instead. So I've given them a ring already this morning, and I've got uh, a basic shopping list from them. Um, they've run out of a few bare essentials, if you like, potatoes and bread and milk. Um, but also, it's my dad's brother, it's his birthday, Uncle David, on the 4th of January. So dad's just asked me to pick up a birthday card for him as well. Um, I've got, I've always got stamps, postage stamps in my wallet. So I said, well, if I grab it, if you write on it, I can stick the stamp on it and I can post it on the way home. So it's going to get to him in plenty of time because it was panicking a bit that he'd forgotten. So, but he hadn't really forgotten. Like I said, there's plenty of time for him to get it in time for his birthday. So it's not an issue. So he doesn't have to worry about that. So the weather today is a bit dank, six degrees centigrade which is about 40 well between 40 and 45 degrees fahrenheit um so not particularly warm but not particularly cold it rained heavily overnight but that's cleared now so we do have some cloud but we've also got blue skies too so i'm hoping that the rain's going to hold off until later on this evening um, because the last thing we want tonight is loads and loads of fireworks going off. So if it's chucking it down with rain, then that's going to dampen some people's um, spirits and maybe they won't fire off as many fireworks. Because, you know, although I, I do appreciate it's New Year's Eve and all that kind of stuff and people want to celebrate, but they don't think about how it affects the dogs or the cats. So... Yeah, hoping it's going to be fairly quietish.
So it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, and I've started work, although it's a bank holiday here in the UK. Um, Ian has started doing his accounts. So, yeah, so I've turned the machine on. Um, I've started production on Karen's, uh, the first set of Karen's new products for 2024, which are the acrylic ghost, um, what we've got, ghosts, skulls, and cobweb earrings, um, laser cut out of white acrylic. So production has started, so we'll start appearing on a website pretty soon. We all tied up. Yes, we are. Stop. <laughs> Is he grumbling? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> no grumbling. No grumbling. So it's four o'clock on Monday, New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Yes. Um, so we've brought the boys out, as you can see, by the way, I'm dressed. <laughs> looking like a fisherman but it's rather cold today but luckily it's dry so we're coming out while it's still light because now winter solstice is over it's obviously getting lighter earlier or staying lighter longer <laughs> I should say um, so it's not as quite as dark when we come out now which is good, because there's a promise of days ahead then, isn't there? Warmer, nicer days ahead. It's Tuesday morning, the 2nd of January, 2024. So back to work this morning. So I've already been down to the post office and posted off all my outstanding website orders that have come in over the last few days. So that's all done. I'm quite happy about, because there was no queue at the post office at all. So I'm now off to the supermarket just to grab a few bits and pieces that we're running out of, like bread and dog food. But there's only one or two bits, so it's not going to be a long trip. So it's Tuesday afternoon, I think. <laughs> it's Twixmas is always one of those ones, isn't it? Where that period between Christmas and New Year, when you actually start back at work again, but you lose track of what days, what or when's when, and and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, yes, I am working today. Um, I have um two new stencils to share with you. So let me just show you the first one. So this one is called Cross Grid. Um, I was going to call it Interference. Um, but I couldn't remember how to spell it when I was adding it to the website. <laughs> and I could go back and change it now, but, you know, it's done now. What's done is done. Yeah, so this is a fantastic one for adding texture into backgrounds, a little bit of interest and uh, texture into backgrounds for your art journal pages, your cards and your scrapbooks. Love that. Love it a lot. Five and a half inches by eight. Um, so that one is now available to purchase. But also... Not only, but also, um, I have the word blocks. Finally done this one now. So this one has been in the works for quite some time. Now, it's gone through a couple of iterations, but this is the one that I think I like the most. Um, camera went funny then. Um, yeah, this is one that I like the most because you can 
put just a strip of masking tape across those ones to block out the ones that you don't want and then you can use um, your paints or your inks through to reveal the word so you could do a nice like colored background and then go over the top with a darker color just to keep those really bright kind of letters showing through so again you've got this i'm, re I'm reading this backwards for me because i can't see it properly because it's in reverse on the camera so discovery imagination creativity adventure curiosity journal exploration courage destination and belief there you go is that the right way around I can read them now because <laughs> they're the right way around. So that one is now also on the website, available to purchase now. <clears throat> but also I've done some more um, laser cut craft card ephemera. So these are fern fronds in different sizes. So that's the, is that the largest? Which is the largest is about seven inches, I think. Yeah, it's about 177 millimetres, so about seven inches. And the smallest one is, he says, looking for a ruler quickly, um, it's just under four inches, actually. So it ranges from four inches up to about seven inches, and there are 16 in the pack. And again, these are on the website now. Now, I have used them in an Art Journal page project, so... You can see you've got the word, well, they've got the fern fronds there, the cross grid pattern in the background there, but also you can just probably just make out the word journey there across the middle of the page. So if you haven't seen that Art Journal page project yet, then when you get to the end of this video, there'll be a link to uh, the, the last pay or the last project uploaded so you want to click on that to see how that one was done so there you go three fabulous new products to kick off the new year so it's 7 a.m in the morning and it's still well the sun is just starting to come up so you can just see it in the distance through the clouds um, yeah, I've been up since stupid o'clock this morning, um, since about five. Uh, I woke up with the most horrendous heartburn, <laughs> obviously been laid strangely. So yeah, I've been sat um, reading and also um, working. I've been doing my accounts because when you can't sleep, you might as well be productive, right? Wednesday, 12.30, uh, just on my way back from Mum and Dad's. So I took Mum shopping this morning. She had a bit of a poorly tummy yesterday, but she's okay today. Dad said it's because she's been eating too many chocolates. <laughs> so as you can tell, Dad's on fine form at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so I've taken Mum shopping, grocery shopping. I've also helped them take down all of the Christmas decorations and I've helped Dad put everything back into the loft. Um, well, I did it. He helped me more than <laughs> the other way around. Um, so yeah, so it's been a busy kind of morning. I've also um, pushed the vacuum cleaner around for Mum um, to get rid of any remnants of tinsel and glitter and sparkle that's been left on the carpet so I've done the whole of the lounge the hallway the stairs and the upstairs landing um, which didn't take long so now I'm on my way home to get some lunch for myself It's Wednesday afternoon, après midi. Um, I thought I would just jump on. There's been a couple of comments going through the comments um, from some of my um, 
art journal page videos that I've done um, since since the new year, or the last two art journal pages, the grungy ones. Um, <clears throat> a couple of people have commented and asked um, what's happening with the Mission Inspiration this year, because I said I was going to do it weekly this year, which I am. Um, the plan was to release the Mission Inspirations midweek rather than on Saturdays, um, which would then free me up on Saturdays to do other types of art journal page or other types of project, keeping the Mission Inspirations for like midweek, that kind of thing. Um, with them being weekly, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I will have enough time throughout the week to do one art journal page based on the mission inspiration prompts for 2024 of which there are 52 already done and waiting to be released randomly because even i don't really know which one i'm going to do until it goes up or gets scheduled um but because started the new year um and i've kind of already done a couple of art journal pages by the time you hit the ground running, you're already up to like January the 3rd, <laughs> which is what it is today. Um, and um, and I haven't done it. So it's it's Wednesday today. Um, and there's obviously an art journal page project going up today to launch the new stencils and the new um, fern frond ephemera. So I don't want to kind of overload everybody. So what I thought is for the first couple of weeks in January, I will continue to do them on Saturdays. I'll just continue to release the Mission Inspirations on Saturday. So they'll be going, the prompts will be released at 12 noon on Saturday, um, probably for um, until Saturday the 27th, which is the last Saturday of the month. And then from there, I'll probably switch over to the Monday, sorry, not the Monday, the Wednesday or even the Tuesday uh, release the Mission Inspiration prompts on the Tuesday, so on January the 31st. So we go into February. Um, so the next one won't get released until like the 6th or the 7th. So that'll give you enough time then to, to have a play with the new format for the prompts um, and then work out what you want to do. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to use the new journal size that I've done the six by eight journal, all my mission inspirations in those, um, or whether to carry on using the tags. Um, I think I'm probably going to do the journal. So what I want to try and do before I get started on the actual prompt projects themselves is to get that journal done. So if I have time, I may get another video up and done where I create the journal first. I'm going to do a traveller's style, traveller's notebook style journal, so I can pull out the sheets, work on them, and then put them back in. Um, so that, hopefully, is the plan. I'm hoping I've got enough time to do it. The next couple of days are going to be pretty busy anyway, because mum and dad are coming over on Saturday morning, um, because we haven't seen them. Well, I've seen them, but Ian hasn't seen them since before Christmas. So we kind of wanted to have a weekend where mum and dad were here, where we can kind of celebrate the new year um together because we didn't get a chance to spend christmas together this year so um hopefully i've got a chance i will try and get that project filmed in time for saturday too so fingers crossed anyway i'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.